Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial for Hacking Fever. Today I'll be continuing the series for Visual Basic 2008 Express Ed Edition. And for this series, like my Game Maker series, um, I'll be using a friend to ask questions along the way. And his name is Big Sweaty Rick. This is Big Sweaty Rick, folks, and I'm going to be asking the questions today. Alright, so, yeah, he's kind of disgusting. Um, <laughs> Alright, so, when should already have Microsoft Visual Basic downloaded and installed and probably registered. So once you have that ready, just start it up. Okay. There we go. That fit into into the window. How do you fit it? <laughs> By pressing the maximize and normal window and just moving around. Uh huh. I'm just fitting inside the screen. That wasn't a real question. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he's pretty new. You can see how stupid he is. Uh, so, stupid. <laughs> so when you start up Visual Basic, you'll get a screen look that's looking something like this. So what you're first going to want to do is click this uh, button up at the top. Or new project. Yes, new project or create project. Doesn't matter which one. And we're going to be using a Windows form application. What this is, is just a normal application that is, has a form, I guess. And we're going to call this Hello World. The reason why it's called Hello World is because this is a basic application uh, for our, every first programming, like your first programming application, if you didn't know that already. So we'll just click OK. And then you have to wait for it to load up. My computer's kind of slow because I'm uh, recording this. So we just gotta let this load up. You'll see some stuff working over here in this Solution Explorer tab. Solution Explorer. Yes, yeah, Solution Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> you can see he's really, really stupid. So um, you have the Solution Explorer, which. Uh, what this does is it shows everything that's in your project, like in your application. So far, we only have Form 1, which is the only form we're using. And click on Form 1 once, and you'll be able to see its properties over in the Properties tab. You get a lot of this stuff. And What's all that shit? <laughs> it's just properties. Um, it's just properties of the, the form that we'll be using. So the text, what text means is the caption, pretty much. So you the could text. change it. Yeah. So let's just call this Hello World. Hello World. Oh, see, it changed. Yeah, it did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so once you get Hello World set up, you'll, if you look or you looked at the top, you'll notice that the name is still saying Form 1. This is because we'll be using Form 1 as it, with the code so instead of Hello World with the exclamation mark. Okay, so now I'll be showing you the toolbox. The toolbox is, is has all of your um, stuff that you can use in your program. Your little and, gadgets? Yeah. And then you can code it, uh, code them with whatever you want to do. So I'll be just showing you a basic button and a text box. It's pretty simple. So let's see, where's the button? Oh yeah, they're at the top, they're in alphabetical order. You click on the button, and then just click out here, and it should make a button for you. Ah. So you got button one. Can you rename it? Yep, see so that's the text thing again, which is basically the caption, so let's just call it click. And then go to the toolbox again, go down to text box, click out again, and you'll get a text box right here. Just put it somewhere else on your form. You'll see it doesn't have any text in it because that's because you don't want it to. Alright, so we got and in the code it's gonna be text box one and for the button is button one. So let's uh, start up our a real code. Double click on the click button and then you'll actually start seeing your first code. It'll automatically generate um, the private sub button one click, you can just ignore the rest of the crap, it doesn't involve you, what involves you is the code in the middle of private sub, sub and end sub, this is what's in the 
specific code for button one not click. All right, so what you're going to want to do is I'll write down the code and I'll explain it after I write it down. So let's say um, when you click on it, or that's what it's already set up to. Let's make text box one dot text, which is the text portion of it. I already showed you it is equal to um, you put in quotes hello world good spelling I know world okay so if you got so far uh, big sweaty Rick or whatever your name is yes do you get this yes I get it so there's a text and text box one should say hello world then we can test it out so then it'll change the text in the box or what? Yeah. When you click the click button, it'll say hello. Oh, I get it. That's cool. So that's what it'll do. Oh, so that's pretty much the code that yeah. tells what the button does. Yeah. Okay. So what this is pretty much saying is the text box, when you click on the button, text box one dot text will equal hello world. Okay. So now I'll also show you something else that we can do. I will show you the if command. If then command. So let's say if text box one dot text is equal to um, let's just say hello world again. Hello world. Then this is an if then statement. This is what we'll want it to do. So if it's already equals hello world, then we'll want it to um, give it a message box, which is msg box. Uh, that thing, I think parentheses, I'm not sure. I forget what it is right now. And what the message we want it to be is just simple hello world. Okay. Now what this is pretty much saying is if textbox one dot text is already equal to hello world uh, right there, then it'll give you a message box saying hello world. Let's test it out again. And so yeah, hello world. So click it once and it'll say hello world there. Click it again, you get a message box saying hello world. Oh, so you could write like don't click it twice or something? Yeah. You That's could cool. say why are you clicking me again or whatever. Yeah. And then, yeah, so that's the basic commands. And let's see if there's something else I can show you. So, yeah, we did the buttons and text box. That's pretty much the whole basic thing. I should do the if and then commands, which we could be using quite often. And um, I'll also be showing, let's say, uh, now I'll show you the form load event. So just double click anywhere on your form that's not an actual property like a text box or button. Just double click out in the blue area. And I'll give you a form one load event. So when form one loads, which is basically your application, let's say um, uh, form one, which is your first form, dot text, which is your um, caption. We can change this right now to how about um, uh, put in quotation marks first. Hey, it's not saying now instead of saying hello world, it'll just say hey. Oh wait, no. What was the problem? Hey, what does it do? Form one dot tags. Oh, because this is a form one. See the. The public class is form one right there. Is right there. So if we're already coding form one, we have to put in me. Okay, so now what this is doing is when form one loads, we want the caption to just say hey instead of hello world. Okay. So you, can you test that? Yeah. See, and just, just pull it over and see the caption now just says hey. Oh, okay. Can you just change the caption to hey then? Yeah. But I was just showing you, you can change properties of codes inside. So thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope you can continue watching the rest of the series.